So this is part two of using at font face with Axia RP9. Again, I recommend you actually don't use at font face with Axia RP9. It um, can be quite unreliable, but if you absolutely have to use it, this is a way to get it working. So I'm using Lobster. In the last video, I created the font face font kit. Um, and so if you already know how to create font kits, of course, you've jumped straight into part two. I've installed Lobster on my system and I have changed um, a heading one and heading two into Lobster. I'm keeping the body text as Arial, uh, both, well, because you shouldn't use a display font as your body text, but we'll see if the font mapping works if you don't have it installed on your system. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, I go into the project, uh, sorry, publish, generate HTML files and fonts. So we can add a font here and you see we have the option of link to CSS or at font face and we want at font face. Now we need to give it a font label. I recommend you use exactly the same um, name. So I'm calling it lobster. And here we have the at font face code. Let's go and get that from uh, what I downloaded from Font Squirrel. So I'm just going to go and find that now. That's in my uh, downloads, the web font kit, and we're after this CSS style sheet. So let's open that with, I'll just open it with text edit so that we can quickly see that. Here we go. So at font face, and this is my information here. So I'm going to copy that and I can paste that in here. So the important thing to notice is the source. It's source URL and this is what you get normally when you're using at font face in HTML and CSS. But what it is saying is this is in the same folder um, and this is where you are going to find these fonts, both the WAF here and the WAF2. So it does mean that we need to move the font um, if we are going to get that to work. So we've got this here. Now we also need to do font mappings or it will not work. So we click on font mappings, add mapping, and let's see if we can get it to map Arial to Lobster. Probably not, but we'll give that a go. I'll try also mapping Lobster to Lobster, which makes a little bit more sense. So Lobster, and we are going to map that to Lobster. Done, okay. Um, now, okay, hang on, it's calling it lobster regular. Let's be consistent and we'll call it lobster regular. And when I go to my font mappings, I'll actually be mapping it to from lobster regular, exactly the same. Okay, done and uh, all lowercase, sorry. <laughs> Now, whether or not you need to go to this extent, I can't guarantee, but I just had a few nightmares trying to get this to work in the first place. So I want to try to do it as, as clearly as possible. Let's go and export this somewhere. Um, I'll create a new folder and I'll call this font face so that I know where I'm saving this. Okay, so let's publish that there. There we go. Let's go and open it now. So documents, Axia 9, font face, and we will open up, where's the index? Let's open up the index page and see what happens. You see how this is the default browser font. It is actually uh, Mac Times, Times, Times New Roman, one of those anyway, and it's not very pretty. So we know that it is not working. So let's see if we can get this working by moving our font into the appropriate folder. And we'll uh, do that right now. So if I open up my finder, I will go and find where I've got my font. So that was in my downloads. 
we've got it right here, my lobster regular woof to and lobster regular woof. So if I copy that or cut it or drag it, whatever suits you, I'll go to my documents, Axia RP9 font face, and I want to paste it into the root folder where my index.html is. Okay, so let's try this again. I'll just double click it to open it and bam, we have it working. So that is fine. And you notice as well, it has also mapped our Arial because I font mapped it, even though I didn't have that changed into Lobster on my uh, main thing. Right, so I went off video for a bit, uploaded all the files to my web host. You can see here at the top here, I've got my website, I've created a new subfolder called it Fontface. And because I uploaded all of the files, including those WAF and WAF2 files into the root folder of that particular directory, um, it's all working fine here. So you can see it's all mapped there. However, this is testing it on a computer that has Lobster installed. The real test is testing it on a device that does not have that font installed. So um, I'm just going to record um, using the camera and we'll see if I can bring that up um, on an iPad. Okay, so it's loading at the moment. Let's see if I can get it on camera there. Can we see, can we see? I have terrible, terrible web connection here. Now this is one of the problems of using the app font face. I actually found that it would not load in Chrome um, when using it with Axia 9. It worked okay in Internet Explorer though. There we go, so what's that looking like? Yes, hang on, let's zoom in a little bit. I'll see if I can do that. So scale to fit. And there we go, it's working. But yeah, like I said, you need to test this thoroughly because um, often it will just make Chrome not load. Um, Internet Explorer, it or sorry, what is it? Microsoft Edge now. That seems to work okay. Firefox, I think it works okay. But please, please, please test thoroughly um, because it's not as reliable as using a web font. Okay, so these videos showed you how you can use at font face with Axia 9.